Hello and welcome. In this video, it's going to be an update to my video number 10, but using Blender 2.90. I'm going to just create a simple shirt for our avatar in Second Life and show you how to, well, how to create it all inside of Blender. So let's get started. Hopefully this will enable you to see my keystrokes. Okay, whoops. Yeah, I didn't want to save that. Okay, so I found a open public domain lease version of the avatar, not avastar, uh, avatar, don't know what it was created with, that you can download. I'll put the links and will be in the video. When you do this first open, you need to turn off load UI. If you don't, you're going to have problems and you won't be able to find the buttons and stuff that I'm going to be using on the keyboard. It changes a lot of stuff. Don't know what all this stuff is. I'm not really into bones here. Okay, so then turn that turn on. Oh, center. There it goes. Okay. Control I select everything except the upper part of the body, hit the delete key, reselect him, go to the modifications and delete the armature. We don't need the armature. Go into edit, select all, one on the keyboard, period on the keyboard, RZ minus 90, GZ, move it down to the center line. Now would be a good time to do a save. Control Shift S. And we're going to call this YouTube. Save. Okay. Now let's go set up the characters and textures. So we need to do into the shading. Create just so we can see it. Use nodes. Delete that guy. We need a mix shader because we're going to combine two different textures at the same time. Diffuse shader. Huh. Oh, and it doesn't show up, so I'm doing a Shift A to select that. And it doesn't show up there for some reason. I'm going to create a texture for our skin. We really wouldn't need this, but it helps you to visualize what's going on. And in this case, we're going to Make it default to a UV grid just so that it shows up nicely. Okay, another Shift A, image texture. This is our shirt. And we're going to make this a blank. And since it's an alpha and it's in it and we're going to want it on top of the skin. The alpha goes into the factor right there. Okay. Now would be another good time to save. Control Shift S. Hit the plus key on the keyboard and the enter key. Now let's go into texture painting and set a few things up. First thing I want to do is I want to clear out parts of this thing. So I do an erase alpha, 100% strength, and set the fall off on our stroke to that. <clears throat> uh, 
Well, sometime I'll remember because it resets them. Change the type. Okay, so now as you can see, the let's go and change it to material preview so we can see it. Okay, so now the um, we're getting pretty close actually. I'm gonna do a mix now, and that should be that should still be the same. Should be the same. Should be the same. Yep. Okay, so now we're gonna pick the color of our shirt, and we're gonna do a fill of the back side and the front side. <clears throat> and we're gonna leave these alone since those are um, arms and gloves. And while we're at it, let's do this. Let's do an erase alpha on this guy also. We don't need any of that. Now would be a good time to do another save. Hey, here's where the artwork comes in, <laughs> if you could call it that. And we've still got the sharp fall off. Yep. <clears throat> okay, I'm straight ahead in the front, and I'm going to do a stroke. I'm going to do a line. And erase, yes, I want to erase. Shirt's gonna be a single sleeve shirt. One of the things you will notice on people that don't that use a template for designing clothing is you will see that the shoulder is poorly designed and that's because this is the front of the avatar and that's the back shoulder is right up there in the corner that's the front part of the shoulder and that's the back part of the shoulder so it's very hard to when we're using a template it's very hard to get the um, alignment proper. This is going quick. Whoops. Heavens, we don't want that there. Okay. Now I'm going to do some fun. I'm going to do some craziness here. Okay, I'm going to set the strength to 0 0.8. We'll change the fall off to a nice curve. And the <clears throat> stroke to a line. Let's make it a little bit bigger here. How about I'm doing right bracket for some reason that doesn't show up over up on the top right hand corner by your P. Need to change that brush size. All right, we've got our shirt done. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to save our images. So if we go over here and look, you can see image has a star beside it. We want to do a save as. And go save the image. Okay, we are done with Blender. Now all we can do is upload it into Second Life. Since we're done with it, let's do another save here. We can refer to it later. Now let's jump over to Second Life and see how bad this looks. Okay, now we're over on Second Life. Let's upload that texture and see what we get in here.
Right. There's our shirt. Let's call it YouTube again. Let's make a shirt out of it. And there you go. We're done. Call it something. Save as. So now you can see what happened when I put that um, alpha in the center. So this could give you some fun stuff. All right. If you have any questions, be sure to post them on the thing. I'll try hard to answer them. And thanks a lot for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.